Ephesians chapter 3, uh, we're going to look into Paul's second prayer of this book of Ephesians, the first one being in chapter 1, and the second one here, starting at verse 14, For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his Spirit in the inner man. Uh, so his first prayer for them is that they be strengthened with might through the the Holy Spirit, God's Holy Spirit in the inner man. And uh, this Greek word is the same Greek word that Jesus used in Acts one eight uh, when it, when it speaks of receiving the power of the Holy Spirit. When he says, "But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria to the ends of the earth." In Acts one eight one eight. So God has given us his Holy Spirit that he might strengthen us to for our service to Jesus Christ. And um, and that's the purpose of the power of the Holy Spirit. It's uh, not only to conform us to the image of, of Jesus, but it's also to empower us to do service. Um, and, and Paul, so Paul prays for this, for the inner man to be strengthened. Um, the Bible is, it's really more interested in the inner man than the outer man. Whenever Samuel went to the house of Jesse and he was uh, thinking that his David's brothers were surely they'll be the king. Uh, they were built like a king. They look like a king. But God told Samuel that um, that man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. In First Samuel sixteen seven, Paul said in Second uh, Corinthians four sixteen. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed by day by day. Paul exhorted, in first, I mean, I'm sorry, Peter exhorted in First Peter three, uh, verses three and four, that the women, to, that the women, that their adornment should not be in the hairstyle or the jewelry or the fancy clothes, but the inward adornment of the heart, and. Um, so the Bible is more concerned about the heart. And the greatest flaw that the Pharisees had in those days was the emphasis on the outward actions of the person rather than the inward attitudes from which those actions sprang. And, and you see that in the, the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, it was a heart issue. You know, it says, uh, you've heard it said that you should not murder, but whoever's angry with his brother, he's committed murder in his heart. You shall not commit adultery, but whoever looks at a woman and lusts for her, and he has committed adultery in his heart. And Jesus made it clear that it's a heart issue. And the Pharisees were just looking on the outward appearance. So the Bible is more concerned about the inward man. And um, and just like Samuel was thinking that David's brothers were, should be the king just by the outward appearance. People here do seem more concerned about the outward man. Um, as you look at all the health clubs and all the gyms um, where the purpose is to get in shape and, and those things are great. That, that's a good thing. But I'm reminded of the words of Paul to Timothy when he says in 1 Timothy 4, 8, for bodily exercise profits a little, but godliness is profitable for all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. And again, I'm not saying that you shouldn't exercise, but I'm saying if people would be as serious about developing their spiritual strength as they are their physical strength, think of what could be accomplished for the kingdom of God. So, okay, so now you ask, how do I receive this power for the in the inward man, the Holy Spirit? How do I receive this? Well, ask. Luke eleven thirteen says, If you then, being evil, how, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? If, if you're eager to give your children things that they desire and that they want, that's actually good for them, how much more does God want to give us the Holy Spirit that's good for us? If you just ask.